Yeah, it's been a uh, it's been a lot of fun being in the drone industry. There's you know a lot of change always happening, and there's a lot of uh, interesting technologies moving along. That's awesome. How'd you get into the drone space? Actually, uh, I've always loved wireless video and anything robotic. So I built my first RC airplane with wireless video in 2002. And that's been my core hobby and background ever since. So my wife is <laughs> very patient with me. I, I have probably 30 air, airplanes and drones in my basement with wireless video on them and autopilots. And so it's a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I'm similar. I, um, I'm just accumulating robots, and it's it's a huge money pit. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it's a labor of love for sure. Yeah. Yep. There. Uh, once you get your hands on some, you you always think of other options and ideas, so you don't want to just get rid of them. You know. Absolutely, and it's kind of. I think every robotics company or like you know, professional that you know sort of practitioners has like a collection of robots they've worked on over the years that they sort of build up and. I've tried to get better about putting old ones into storage instead of just keeping them around, cluttering up the offices. But sometimes <laughs> it's, just, it's hard to go around without tripping over something. So I can I can relate. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. There's uh, too many of them, but then you know I kind of cycle through. Each one has their own particular use case or or you know strength over the others. So then I'll actually pull them out of storage and. Re revitalize them with new technology and go test. Oh, that's cool. 